In this video, we're going to go over setting up Midnight Print Product Templates. We'll start off by going to Admin, Print, and Print Product Templates. Once we're in the Print Product Template menu, we can add a new template by clicking on the Add Print Product Template link in our Quick Links dropdown. Or we can go ahead and click on one of our existing templates. We'll go ahead and take a look at our eight and a half by 11 letter template today. So when we look at our uh, template setup here, uh, we'll start off in our header bar. Uh, you can assign a template group uh, to your template. So what this allows you to do is uh, when you select a particular service, if you want that service to automatically select a template group, uh, though only those templates will uh, be available uh, from the start. Uh, so if you want a template to be part of that group, you can select it here. You can add a description. You can give the template its own markup. And then we can select number of pages, see if it's active. And then this box in the upper right hand corner, we can actually do pricing previews. So if you wanted to see how this template would price uh, in general or for, tip for a particular customer. We could put in a quantity and hit calculate and it will return what this uh, particular template would price at. And then if you had customer specific pricing, you could select that customer and it would put the pricing in that might be a little different for that particular customer for that quantity. So this screen is going to reflect uh, very much the same as what the print calculator is going to look like in an estimate or an order. So we have our section tabs down the side here, uh, and we'll just go through those one by one. So uh, for our press details, we can uh, define a press. Now keep in mind that at the very least, from a product template perspective, you need to have a press selected, uh, but everything else is optional. So uh, you can make templates as complete or general as you'd like. Uh, you know, really depends on how you run your business and who you're going to have estimating. Uh, if you're going to have people that aren't as knowledgeable in the printing process doing estimates, then you would want to uh, have many templates and you can iterate on templates really quickly by hitting the copy button. Uh, but if you had a, an experienced estimator and you just wanted to give them a head start for general kinds of work, uh, then you can make very gen uh, just a few very generic templates. So when we look at the press details section here, we can select a press. Uh, we can click our ignore margins. Uh, by default, we'll put in a price or sorry a um, a size. Uh, we can select our run type, sheet margin. So all these items are going to populate based on our uh, press setup. Um, define any spoilage or setup time. Uh, for our color details, we can select our, uh, in this case, it's a digital press, so we can collect our, select our click rates. We can select our paper here. We can see the imposition of our run and any kind of cutting that we might want to select. We can add additional services here. Uh, keep in mind that additional service pricing is going to be dependent on the service. We can't actually save uh, unique additional service pricing in here. Now, if a customer has specific pricing on additional services, uh, those will populate when that customer is used on a job. Um, and if there's any kind of tiered pricing in those additional services set up in the standard service uh, admin, uh, those will also um, be factored in here. Uh, volume pricing. So what we can do here is add volume pricing to this particular product. So we can choose whether we want that pricing to be based on the total with all services or just the print total. So just the print total is going to be this cost here. Total with all services is going to be down here. Um, so if you have service additional services that are not getting marked up, they're just getting added to the end, uh, and you wanted to discount everything, you would do total with all services. And how this works is you can put in a quantity level. So we can say, you know, at 500, we want to do a 10% discount. 
And also keep in mind that you can only do a discount or a rate. You can't have both, right? So if we wanted to do another tier at 4,000 and say that would make these uh, 25 cents a piece. We could save that. We can also see here, um, based on that quantity we just had, we can see what the run details would be um, for this and also the run results. So uh, we're gonna have um, kind of our run metrics in the top section here, uh, costing details in the bottom section here. Um, that information will be summarized on the right. And then uh, we can also define a minimum pricing for this template. Uh, based on the unit price or total with all services.